if you give an opinion that other people don't like, there's no conversation about it anymore. It's like you're bad for this reason, and we want to ruin your life and get and and cancel you. I'm shocked mostly by who is trying to do that. I, I've you know, it's it's scary to me that there's certain elements of the DNC or the Democratic Party that is attacking the people that are its base, right? The people that will actually go and knock on doors and mm-hmm. change an election. Uh, it's the strategy of attacking. Bernie uh, over the last four months, I just don't understand it. Why? Why would you attack one of your strongest candidates? And, and all his followers are, are looking at it like, "Well, you guys are doing the same thing you did last time, and you haven't learned your lesson." I just don't understand the strategy. It seems like they want a candidate who they think is guaranteed to beat Trump, which is what they thought they had last time. And if anybody is a little more radical or different thinking, they're worried that the middle isn't going to like them. So let's. Destroy how, them now. How many times does an expert, how many times is an expert allowed to be wrong before they're not right. an expert anymore? Right. And this seems to happen just every time. It's just, you know, that who we're listening to, or why we're we listening to these same people that screwed it up last time. I just don't get it. I'm all for a, a, a change, you know, however, whatever it takes. But it just seems to me what what's stupid to, to attack your base. Did Bernie have another choice too? Because when when he when they found out that they were screwing him, uh, the, uh, I guess uh, Wasserman Schultz, and they were screwing him in the last time, and then he kind of lined up and supported Hillary just because they wanted to beat Trump. Do you think there was another alternative for him at that time? I don't know if he could have done anything. I was always like, why did he just get in line behind her when he was more interesting than she was? And I think he would have done better in the debates than she did. I think he realized that she was better than Trump. But here's the thing. He went out and stumped for her, went all over the place for her. And now her supporters and that wing of the DNC is saying that he never did that, as if it never <laughs> happened, which is even weirder for me. It's like, why don't you accept reality? And it's like, by the way, I'm doing 1984 in Los Angeles. <laughs> 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 it's, you know, the concept of doublespeak, you know, holding two contradictory thoughts in, the, in your head at the same time, being able to go to either one, whatever's convenient yeah, at the yeah. time. You know, it's... It, I, it, it's it's crazy to me. I, I I would love to see it stop because you know it's not going to be an effective strategy in turning out people. I think the only way we're going to beat Trump is if there's a massive voter turnout. Do and you get do you get nervous when things get weirdly cyclical again? And you're like, wait, is this? Are we doing the same thing again? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, wait, exactly. wait, wait. Well, you know, during the when when I came out against the Iraq War, mm-hmm. I we I and people like me were called traitors, and you know, against you know, we were we were dummies, we were dupes, you know, Saddam lovers, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter what that we were right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, doesn't you don't get any prizes for that later on? No, you know, we don't really talk about that anymore. And, yeah, and to, you know, it's the same. I think Matt Tibby just wrote this piece in Rolling Stone about this, about Tulsi Gabbard and Hillary Clinton, all this thing. It's like you, you, the same kind of strategy. Is like anyone that disagrees with us is a Putin dupe, right? Yeah. Anyone that disagrees with us is a traitor. It's dumb. It's uh, it's ill advised. It 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 alienates people. I don't understand their strategy. I just don't get it. I'm so glad you said that. I literally started the show this yeah. morning with both of us trying to figure out what yeah. could possibly be the move here. What's the, obviously there is a strategy. What the hell is going on? I said we should ask Tim when he gets in because he seems up to date on this <laughs> yeah. stuff. And you're coming in T- and totally saying confused. I have no idea. Yes. <laughs> Want more Jim and Sam? Catch up with full episodes and interviews from celebrity guests anytime on demand using the SiriusXM app.